All right, guys, GoodBoy32 here, check it out. We're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack on the review table. We're moving forward and uh, slowly progressing with this guy right here. This is the high-speed, low-drag build. We're using PSA's billet upper and lower receiver set, the super-duper high-speed, low-drag fluted uh, buffer tube. And we are also, what are we doing? We're going to be putting this guy right here in it. This is the Arma Spec uh, deal. Now, a lot of people in the last video I did, talking about this guy right here, they were like, is it worth it? Guys, it's just like anything else. Uh, is it worth going with the paying a little bit extra for an ambidextrous safety selector switch? Is it worth it to go a little bit extra for a diamond light coated BCG? Uh, that's completely up to you, in all honesty. So uh, one, of the, one of the things that we are going to do is we're going to step away from the nickel boron uh, trigger group that was uh, part of the lower parts kit, and we're going to use this guy right here. Now this. Uh, there was a lot of people who asked me, and I mean a lot, because we're doing, a, at the end of the day, we're going to be doing a comparison with a bunch of different trigger manufacturers, and a lot of people threw this name out there, Velocity Trigger. So I reached out to them, and yeah, man, they were happy to send me a trigger so that I could show you guys what it's all about. So, did a little research on this guy. Uh, pretty cool company. As a matter of fact, one of their marketing or sales uh, manager guys lives 10 miles from me, I guess, down in uh, Charlotte, near Charlotte, North Carolina. And I still have to get together and go to lunch, so in case you're watching this video, yeah, man. I'm still ready to go. I've just been slammed. But in any case, uh, Velocity Triggers, they're uh, American-made, and you can find them at VelocityTriggers.com. I'll put the link down below. Designed for precision, Velocity Triggers, compatible with AR platform. No assembly required. This is a drop-in deal. You do have two little uh, screw sets right there, set screws. Now... On this particular build, I am going to install this anti-rotational pin set. Let's talk about this here real quickly. The velocity trigger enhances performance of your AR platform rifle by eliminating trigger creep and over travel found in mil-spec factory triggers. All right, so uh, drops easily into your rifle's lower receiver. Made in the USA. Feel the difference. Okay, and we will. But uh, a little backstory on this thing. Um, they have several different models. they got the flat trigger. they got the flat hook trigger. They've got the one trigger to set up to the front. I actually do have that. They also make several other AR-15 parts like trigger guards, uh, a gas block. I do have a gas block that they sent to me, and we're probably going to go ahead and incorporate that on an upcoming build as well. I like a simple flat trigger, or I like the uh, slight bow trigger. This reminds me a lot of the Timmy. Let's take a look at that in the packaging. Okay, so it comes just like this. These guys are pretty easy to install. You guys have seen install videos a lot. Don't lose your set screws. Right there. And it comes with a nice little Allen wrench. That's pretty cool. And I imagine that your set screws are going to go down there. Now, a little, little thing is I did a little reading before. And if you're shooting a lot of steel cased ammo, they actually have a trigger with a uh, spring that is more, uh, I guess, uh, suitable for steel case. But also, this is a diamond-like coating, which they say makes it smoother and slicker. And we all know that's the case. We all like diamond-like coating. Diamond light coating so anyway that's what it looks like it they also have uh different weight triggers so you can order three pound i think three and a half four pound four and a half something like that so anyway if you go on their website you can see all that cool stuff but i like it nice looking anodized look you got the sleeves and the collars let's see i'm gonna look in there is there a spring to hold no there's not so what they're doing there's no spring to hold and it does not come with trigger pins Let's just say, I want to give you guys a real quick run through on what that looks like on the interior. There you go. If you're interested in buying one of these things, it's my job to show you what it all looks like. And then we'll put the scales on it here in a few seconds to see what's going on. They also recommend if you're going to be shooting like 22 long rifle, there's a different trigger for that, as well as a different trigger system specific to... Uh, PCC or pistol caliber carbines or direct blowback bolts with a different face on it. I'm going to install this because of the cool parts that uh, YouTube have about installation parts and assemblies and stuff like that. It's kind of difficult to do that. So anyway, I'm going to jump on this thing and rock out. Here we go. Stand by. Okay, let me just stop for one second. I made a mistake. I, like a lot of people who probably have well, bought this. You failed to read the instructions. And when I rushed to put it in in my fast move forward speed, well, 
I didn't read the instructions, which say there are two set screws in this thing, not one. So what you do is you, you <laughs> set these screws and then you install these screws so that they are kind of like an anti-rotate kind of a deal. You know what I'm talking about. You guys are mechanical. You know what I'm, you're, I'm referring to. So anyway, let's go ahead and redo this. But I want to stress to everybody, uh, yeah, read the instructions because it's in there. And not only that, but you get a really cool Velocity Triggers designed for precision clear sticker. And we'll put that on the front of my refrigerator back there. All right, so let's go ahead and install this thing. Here we go, stand by. Okay, so now we've got the thing settled in there, and that was the biggest cause of my concern was when I put the initial two little things in there, I thought that was it. And I was like, I'm tightening these things up and nothing's happening. So, nobody likes a loose trigger, especially me. So we're going to go ahead and we will take these and secure those down. And that what that does is it applies pressure to the bottom of the receiver, and then there you go. So what we'll do now is you install these little guys and that will always keep those pins in place. I know you guys are going to like this. I, I, de I designed this little booger right here myself. It's really cool. What it is, is it's basically a trigger tester on a budget. This is one of the things you don't want to do is break that lower receiver. So what we'll do, just install this magazine block and a little rubber tab that I found, and there we go. But uh all right, so let's do this. We're gonna go ahead. I want to show you the break. Now, uh, there's a couple things that I look at when I look at triggers. Weight is not the most important thing. Okay, this is supposed to be a three pound trigger. What I look at is the take up. On here, there is zero take up, as you can see right there. Secondly, how crisp and how clean is that pull? Are there any drags? None. So that's good. That, that in itself, and this is without any lubrication from me or uh, breaking in. A lot of times I'll actually, I'll close my eyes when I'm feeling a trigger like that. Okay, smooth, smooth, smooth. That's good. So now what I want to do, let's go ahead and do that. Reset. Reset on a competition style trigger is very important. So let's look at the reset. A little long on a reset. I'd say about an eighth of an inch, but not bad. But here again, that reset is very smooth. Buttery. Crisp and buttery. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get the, the scales out here and see what we're going to end up at. Now, this is supposed to be a three-pound trigger. I used to put my finger about a quarter inch from the bottom of every trigger I ever use. All right, three pounds, 6.3 ounces. Three pound, 0.9 ounce. Oops, hold on. Three pounds, seven ounces. All right, a little heavier than advertised, but I will tell you this, the impressive part, look inside there. Look in there. Isn't that beautiful? You can see how that works.
Perfect. Reset. Beautiful. All right. Well, I'm so happy that uh, I've reached out to Velocity and Mike over there. Uh, he immediately called me up. He said, you know, there's two sets of set screws in that thing. And I was like, uh, no, uh, I didn't. But uh, I am absolutely phenomenally happy that he got a hold of me because that makes this a an absolute awesome trigger. And I'll, yeah, I will tell you this right now. That's, let me put that back in there so I can concentrate on that pull. Buttery. Reset. Like celery. There we go. All right, would I recommend this? Yes. Uh, go to their website. What is it? www.velocitytriggers.com. Uh, again, they make like, I guess, I think there's like four or five different trigger designs. But again, they do make them for uh, steel case ammo, specifically for that, I guess, with the hardened spring. Uh, they also have it for the pistol caliber carbine. And the, we're going to be testing out this guy right here. This is another one. There it is. There's the other screw. That's with that little trigger shoe that's uh, a little further to the front. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are down below if you have any experience with the Velocity Trigger, folks. And with that being said, God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom sometimes comes from Atlas. Ooh. Go to Boy 32. I am out. Look at that thing. Isn't it beautiful? I like that color. It's kind of like a hospital green.